there. I'm Carrie Gatto uh, with Keller Williams Realty, and welcome to Let's Get Down to Business. Today, I'm interviewing Robin Peretz, who is founder of Pretzel Kids, and I'm so glad to meet you today. Robin, how are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me on your video series. Oh my gosh, you're so welcome. <laughs> um, I, love, I love your business idea and, and everything about it. And I can't wait to learn more. Um, can you briefly describe your business for us? Yeah, so Pretzel Kids offers classes, teacher trainings, and programs in, in the way of kids yoga throughout Massachusetts and also now nationwide. So we are growing, we like to say we're growing one teacher at a time as we train more teachers through our online and in-person um, teacher training. They can then use our branding, our curriculum, all of our marketing materials and our web platform to market their own classes and grow a business in their community. And they also can work for Pretzel Kids directly in our school contracts. Wow, this is brilliant. I love it. Um, what initially, yeah, what initially inspired you to start this business? Yeah, so initially I started the business under the umbrella of another business that I had that I've since um, sold and closed. And that was a yoga studio in suburban Boston. So it was in Sharon, Massachusetts. And I started Pretzel Kids just out of a need for kids yoga in the sharing community and started running kids yoga classes at my yoga studio. And after not very long, a short time, I was asked to run classes in after school programs throughout the community and in schools and other locations. And at that time, I decided to create um, a teacher training program, sort of bottle the curriculum that I had already created to run the classes and train others to, to teach pretzel kids. So that was my sort of inspiration was the demand was there, the need was there, and there weren't enough trained and qualified kids yoga teachers out there. So whereas there are a lot of people that teach yoga, um, not a lot of people specialized in children's yoga. Now there are more, of course, this was going back 15 years. So Pretzel Kids has now been around for a long oh, time. Wow. Um, but at the time there were very mm -hmm. few teachers and now there are still aren't nearly as many that specialize in yoga niches, whether it be kids yoga or senior yoga, yoga for runners or what have you, as there are just adult vinyasa yoga teachers. So we kind of filled this niche. Got it. Got it. Wow. That's a long time. 15 years. <laughs> yeah. Since my kids were very young, three and six, I started Pretzel Kids. Um, I started it, like I said, under my yoga studio. So it was a program. And then at the time I sold the yoga studio, that was 2016. I launched Pretzel Kids as its own company. So it sort of spun out in 2017. So yeah. it's really been, it's been a company in its current form for five years. Okay, great. And um, where are you located? So West Roxbury, Pretzel Kids is based in West Pro Roxbury, although we do not have a physical location. So don't have a brick and mortar studio. Mm -hmm. It's all run, you know, off my computer, wherever I happen to be. Um, and the trainings are either virtual or we go to another location. We partner with other studios preschools and sites like that to run run our trainings and then our classes are out in the community as well so they're in after school programs preschools yoga studios gyms um parks or what have you so yeah okay great and is it um do you, are you working in massachusetts as far as that goes yeah, so the, all of the pretzel kids contracted programs in in the after school programs, for example, in preschools, are in Massachusetts, New Hampshire. So mainly Massachusetts, but we also have programs, corporate programs in New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York City, and California right now. So we oh. are expanding into other wow. states, and then our trained instructors are all over the U.S., so they can run their programs wherever they are. So it's sort of like Zumba, but for kids yoga is how I like to describe it, where 
you can become a Zumba teacher and teach Zumba classes anywhere you go, as long as you're a licensed Zumba instructor. So it's the same thing with pretzel kids. So we have teachers out there running their own classes, doing their own thing. And I may not necessarily know exactly where they're teaching because it's under their own sort of umbrella of a business. Um, but our corporate programs are in those states that I just named. And it, for those situations, I would um, hire or bring in one of our trained Pretzel Kids instructors to teach those classes. So our instructors have that opportunity if they're in certain states to teach for us. Okay, cool. And what do your clients, um, I guess, clients being either the teachers or the children or both, what do they love about your services? Yeah, so I would say our, our clients would be the instructors, our network of instructors, the schools and other, mm -hmm. um, you know, organizations that, that hire us and parents. Um, so those are who are actually, you know, hiring pretzel kids for a class, for a program, for a birthday party, and the kids get the, or the get the, to benefit from it, right? So, um, but I think what they love is the structure, the curriculum that was developed by myself and two school teachers who are also yoga teachers. So they know what works in a, in a school setting. They know how to keep kids engaged. So we took all that and sort of bottled it. So the parents and the schools really love that there's an actual curriculum with a beginning, middle and end. Um, we have all kinds of games and activities um, that, you know, they can, that our teachers can use to run their classes. So the, the end, the end client, the, the school, the parent loves pretzel kids because the kids are having fun, but they're actually learning really key skills, like how to regulate their own emotions, how to calm themselves down, how to move and stay fit. And all of these things that are just so very important today um, to the whole child, really. Yeah. And then the teachers love it because we give them a real plug and play method for, for teaching. So we make it super easy for them to grab and go take a lesson plan, go into the class and teach. They don't have to recreate the wheel and they actually get to sort of ride on the coattails of pretzel kids in terms of um, being able to use our brand, which has a lot of um, name brand recognition, particularly here in Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, and as a mompreneur, um, <laughs> how have you integrated business and motherhood? Yeah. So I've actually, essentially, um, I, I would like to say I've worked for, from home for years because when I have my yoga studio, it was behind my house. So my house was in front and the yoga studio was a renovated carriage house behind my house. So it was all on the same property. So that made it a lot easier to go to work. I didn't have much of a commute, all of that. and was able to juggle that with my kids with help. I would say, um, you know, the help being in the way of after school programs, babysitters um, and family, because there was no way I could be working the hours I worked and <laughs> taking care of them at the same time. So I think juggling is tough and you sort of just have to figure it out what, what works best for you and your family. Um, but for me, it was really important to have my own schedule. I have some control over my own schedule, at least when my kids were young and growing up, like I didn't teach or offer any classes at my studio at the time when they were little during the after school hours. So I was always around to pick them up and take them to their, their activities. And by the time I spun out Pretzel Kids in 2017, they were older. So they have both graduated high school. So um, I'm an empty nester now. So that makes it much easier to run a business. Um, but they've seen this business grow up. I, I like to say the business grew up with my kids. So it was my other child. <laughs> <laughs> that's so impressive um any like funny stories that come to mind for you when you think about owning being a business owner and also a mother well I think um 
Well, I like to say, I don't know how funny it is, but my, so I have two kids and a, a stepson. So I like to say I have th two and a half children. Um, <laughs> one I inherited along the way um, from my, from my husband, but um, my two kids kind of grew up with yoga as a big part of their lives. And um, my oldest one really wanted nothing to do with it. So he used to be the one that would be like, oh, my mom teaches yoga my mom has a yoga studio like wanted absolutely nothing to do with it um but now he's kind of it it's still seeped in i think with him the values and i can see it coming out in his adult life a lot of what what he learned so even though he spent a lot of years making fun of it um <laughs> Now I can see that it's rubbed off on him. And then my, my youngest um, is, turned out to be a professional ballet dancer. So he incorporates a lot of what um, the skills he learned in yoga in his life, the, the focus, the flexibility, yeah. the movement, and movement is now his life. Um, so that's just been wow. interesting to see. So it's not really funny as much as it's just a, a reflection on how they were able to kind of assimilate, you know, these, these, these tools yeah. that they learned growing up. So. Yeah, that's super interesting. Thank you. Huh. Um, anything um, exciting coming up that you want to share regarding the business or any goals that you have? Yeah. So we're, we're recruiting new teachers right now for the fall. So we, we start now as, as the school year is wrapping up and um, all of our after school programs are obviously ending for the, mm -hmm. for the year. We, we do have some summer programs running, some camps and things like that in Massachusetts, but um, we're expanding. So we do need new teachers and you know, we train every teacher we bring on through our online course. It just comes with their onboarding. So if anyone's interested in teaching pretzel kids yoga, even just one class a week, um, you know, reach out to me for sure. So that's what we're doing right now, focusing on, believe it or not, all the school year programs we have coming up. And then we're also running um, uh, teacher training in West Roxbury on June 25th and 26th. So the, just a weekend live training in addition to the fact that you can go on and take the online training at any time. And then we have a training in New York in July and Vermont in August. So if those are places anyone wants to go to train for a weekend, I'd love to have you. And then we're running some events. So one of the ones coming up that I'm super excited about because we haven't been there since before the pandemic is um, we partner with the Highland Street Foundation, which is a nonprofit um, based in Boston, and they built the Tadpole Playground at the Frog Pond, at the Boston Common, and they're an incredible organization that um, has all kinds of events for kids um, throughout Massachusetts, but primarily in the Boston area. And they do um, a series in the summer on Thursdays um, called Tadpole 10. And each Thursday, they bring in different groups of kids um, that might not otherwise get exposed to these types of activities. And they have different vendors come in. So they have Read Boston. They have, I know they've got jugglers and um, They've got all kinds of all kinds of vendors come in. So we go we go one of the Thursdays and we do pretzel kids yoga games and activities with the kids. And there's usually a couple hundred of them. So it's it's a fun day, but it's a crazy day. And so it's myself and uh -huh. um, a couple other pretzel kids teachers. So it's not just me, <laughs> but that's coming up. Um, our Thursday is coming up on July 21st, and I'm super excited about about that. It's um, something I really look forward to every summer. Yeah. That sounds super fun. Yeah. Wow. And lastly, uh, what's the best way to contact you and, and learn more about Pretzel Kids? Yeah. So um, you can go directly to the Pretzel Kids website, which is exactly um, spelt exactly as the two words are pretzel, P R E T Z E L K I D S for kids. So it's just pretzelkids.com. That's our website. And we're on all the socials. So we're Instagram at Pretzel Kids Yoga. Facebook at Pretzel Kids. I don't know, we have, we have others too, but you can find them all on our website and you can reach me directly if you wanna email me at Robin, R-O-B-Y-N at pretzelkids.com. Awesome, thank you so much, Robin. Thank you.
it's really great to learn more about you and your business and your story. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Let's Get Down to Business. Thank you. <laughs>